Hello and welcome to this week's coffee vlog. It is now Friday the 5th of February 2021. Heading to work. Eight o'clock in the morning in a bit of fog. Uh, and yeah, 2021 is definitely not improving on 2020, to be honest. Um, what COVID's not already doing to destroy us, the weather's now deciding to have its own little battle um, and see how much more mayhem and madness it can incur. So, uh, yeah, Tuesday morning, I mean, it had been forecast we'd get a bit of snow. And uh, so I did set my alarm early. Um, just in case and sure enough there was a lot of snow I mean I got up at half six and there was already a lot roads covered cars covered with a massive amount um, so I got out stupidly I left all my coats in the car because <laughs> it had been really mild the days before so I'd just been going about in my jumper it hadn't been that cold um, so of course it's snowing like anything my car is absolutely swamped. I had to use the snow shovel just to clear it off my car. It was that deep on top and on the bonnet and down the sides and everything. So by the time I cleared enough to open a door and not fill the car with snow to get my coat off, uh, my jumper was absolutely covered in snow. So then I put my coat on and uh, yeah, of course I just kept all that snow in so then got damp and horrible. <laughs> Uh, so that alone was a struggle, just getting all the snow off the car so I could try and start getting going. Um, headed off, um, obviously all the roads were just horrendously Morning. covered, hey, but Radar. Check speed. that's never really such an issue if you're staying on the flat. And snow on the roads only really becomes a big issue when you get to a hill, um, especially if you go to try and go up a hill. Um, because then it's slippy and the cars don't, the tyres don't want to grip and then you have problems. Um, obviously if it's a steep hill and you're trying to go down it as well, that's generally not good, uh, as you often see videos of, because, um, you know, once you try and stop and lock the wheels up, you just slide and then you just keep sliding until you hit something. <laughs> um, so the, the only real option going down a hill when it's slippy is to um, is to not use your brakes preferably or as little as possible um, and try and just use the engine to control your descent speed because um, obviously while you're braking and slipping you can't turn so you've got no control of what's going to happen uh, whereas you, you're keeping rolling in a controlled speed then at least you can angle where you're going uh, aim your attack as it were but anyway now for getting to work for me it's not such an issue because I can pretty much Morning. avoid hills Speed, except main roads um, so I should should in theory be all right um, so headed down Cooper Lane obviously not a lot getting up that because that's slippy and against steep hill so get onto limit. the main road um, Bradford to Halifax um, to head towards Shelf Roundabout. Actually got onto there all right and ploughed up it not too bad, despite the snow and there was a bit of uphill there. But there were some gas works, which uh, in fact I got stuck at um, on the Friday night video vlog. Um, those gas works there at the most inopportune place to stop all the traffic for snow because it's right on quite a steep little hill and it was stopping everyone coming from Shelf Roundabout to go into Bradford, right where the hill was, in the snow, slippy roads. So of course what happened is they couldn't get going or they got going a bit and got stuck on the hill in the middle of the roadworks. So we couldn't go anywhere when it kindly, when the lights changed. It was there forever. I had to edit out 15 minutes of sitting in that queue waiting to get through those lights, even though I didn't start very far from them. 
because constantly we weren't going because someone was slipping and sliding not really getting up the hill very well and taking forever so we kept missing our turn and then someone else did it and then we missed his turn again so so eventually made it through then plowed down shelf roundabout all right shelf roundabout to stump cross pretty much solidly all the way in second gear without touching the brakes um just kept it nice and steady again you know there's barely tracks even through the snow it, it, you were just driving on snow still even on the main road so uh, I didn't really want to be braking unnecessarily. Had to brake for stump cross lights, that was fun, I nearly did actually go through them. Um, but managed to stop there, and then up from stump cross to Halifax. Like, the road was relatively clear still, because I was early, there was little traffic. But halfway up um, from stump cross, Morning, just about where the petrol station is, I'm plodding up in second gear keeping it nice and steady uh, and the traction control kicks in uh, and the traction control on this is a nightmare in snow and you can't turn it off there's no button to turn it off other models of the Renault Cadger do have a button to turn off tra tra uh, traction control but this one mine doesn't don't ask me why I did, maybe they just couldn't be bothered putting it in um, maybe they feel they've got a, a superior traction control in here that doesn't need it Renaults it isn't it's rubbish. Uh, that's the one problem with this car. I mean, everything else I've had been really happy with. And most of the time, even in very slippy, snowy conditions, it's good. But when the traction control starts picking up slipping, it takes over everything. It takes all the power from the engine and feeds it itself. So the accelerator's useless. Uh, and it brakes as it sees fit to control obviously what it considers is the slipping wheels um, but you know in snow you don't really want that to be happening because I mean, you know obviously it's gonna slip because it's snowy and so, so heading up got to the petrol station traction control kicked in and started slowing down because I've got no power left because traction controls nicked that it's braking all the time then trying to accelerate a little bit and getting more spins it's braking so we're slowing down and slowing down. From experience, if I get stopped on a slippy, snowy slope like that, I won't go again because it does the same thing even in first gear. You just try and set off, starts slipping and spinning, and you have the foot to the floor of the accelerator and the engine's doing nothing because <laughs> you're not controlling it, the computer is. Um, and I've tried second gear setting off and that doesn't really make much difference either. The only way around it is to keep dropping the clutch and re-engaging it because when you drop the clutch it turns off the traction control obviously because you're not driving the wheels anymore and then you sort of ram it in again and you get a period before the traction control can work out what's happening where the wheels do go surge turn a bit get you moving again so I was constantly blipping the clutch to get these little sort of nudges of movement forward to keep pushing up the hill um, and I kept doing that, kept doing that, and eventually I got back to what must have been slightly less slippy bit of the, the road, further up. Um, and it, it started not kicking in as much and behaving more normally driving-wise. So it was, <coughs> it was a bit of a worrying moment, because if I'd stopped, I'd have been turning round and then maybe having to reapproach the hill a second time or something wouldn't have been much fun um, plus it would have annoyed everyone behind me because I'd have stopped all them and they probably they'd start getting stuck we would end up the whole world of people stuck so um, bad mark for Renault there on traction control design but um, I overcame the issue so up into Halifax and the road to Plen Lane was blocked of course with snow uh, and cars stuck just not going up it so went through the town centre which was mercifully clear uh, still a bit slippy but got through and then up to past Windsor's where I normally stop to drop the parcels because that the main road had been ploughed so I thought well that's good ploughed road I'll, I'll be all right with that one um, <clears throat> and then if I did Windsor's I could come down onto where I wanted to be 
So Windsor's was just a pure, it, you know, we had no gritting, no nothing on it, so it was pure snow road. Um, managed that surprisingly well, and uh, then headed down, and then the next road I wanted to take had a like snow drift built on it, because everyone had been going along it and turning down, and they pushed all the snow into this big pile where I wanted to go. Uh, so I had to plough through that, and then head along and got to work, but because I presume that bit of road had been ploughed, because it was quite clear, um, all the snow had been pushed to either side of the road, so there was just a track big enough for a car in the middle of the road and that was it. Um, so trying to get into work at that point was pretty much it. I could either stop and wait for the shutters to open and block the whole road, which would annoy everyone. Um, not that there was so many people at that time, but plus I'd also have to go through a massive snow drift of all this snow on the path and everything. And I wasn't that convinced I wouldn't get caught up in that or something. Plus I'd drag all the snow inside work, which would be great. So I thought, oh, what I'll do, I'll park on the church car park opposite, because obviously they're not gonna have millions of people turn up on a day when it looks like no traffic's gonna be moving again in Halifax. Um, and also, I knew one of my staff who parks in there wasn't coming in, so I'll aim for his spot and uh, be all right. Because he aimed for his spot when it's just snow on the whole thing. So I just carried a load of speed into the church car park, um, got in and slid round and probably got stuck so completely. Because <laughs> um, it, it was obviously just deep snow and there's nothing underneath, so I just got stuck and it wouldn't move back, forwards, anything. But I was in and I was vaguely near a parking space, so I went into work, grabbed uh, myself a spade, came back, dug some tracks um, in the snow, up to where I thought I would needed to be, uh, and then managed to progress to park it just about there. Uh, and that was it, left it, <laughs> left it there and spent the day at work um, trying to catch up on stuff, which, um, I mean, it's been another busy week, another load of roasting to do. Um, just keeps seeming to pile up on me at the moment. Um, and there's just so much paperwork and emails and messages to answer. And it's just like, oh, possible amounts of stuff to get on. Plus short staffed again this week, which just makes it even worse because I'm trying to do other people's work plus everything else I'm supposed to do, plus everything else. It's just like, Madness. So, um, I just get stopped here. I just need a quick refreshing drink. Damn you, lights. As soon as you want a refreshing drink, the lights change. Um, foggy. So yeah, I mean, I've done quite a lot of roasting Tuesday. Spent most of the day with a little roaster on again yesterday. As soon as I was finishing some, someone was ordering other stuff. Um, good news, the matches for uh, the customer in Halifax, so the coffees they were having previously, that uh, the supply changed the blend completely from the one they liked. Um, they really liked my matches, they thought it was spot on, which is good, and it's not bad going really, you know, you're just given some small samples of coffee, and you've got to look at it and work out what's in there, uh, and then try and build it up, because both were blends, both had different origins in, they weren't just one single origin, you can tell by the beans, certain beans look certain ways, others appear different ways, so um, yeah, they were very pleased with that, so they ordered three kilos of each of those to get started with yesterday so I had to add those onto my list of piles and then um, another customer ordered 60 retail packs at like half one uh, it needed S ASAP as usual um, so 60 250 gram packs half in beans half ground the ground's such a pain 
Uh, so of course I had to add that lot of roasting on to what I'd already been doing. Um, I got 24 of those packed last night, but I've got the rest to do this morning and ship that out today because they need it for Monday. Um, on top of everything else, I've got thousands of things to do. <laughs> it really is. It's just, I don't know, there's just an impossible pile of work just built up. <laughs> and it just keeps getting built up and built up. So, um, but there you are. I mean, at least we're still moving stuff, I suppose. Um, so, other than work, 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 I, mean, did, I did have a break last weekend, I, I will admit, uh, didn't go in, oh I did go into work a little bit on Sunday, I'll, I'll admit that, because uh, I had to put a, a new single socket in, um, replace the kettle with one of these ones where you can adjust the temperature so I can do the brewed coffee at the correct temperature but um, the previous kettle when I'd redone all the sink and unit area I'd hardwired the kettle into a switch socket on the wall um, that we'd had and I've got to admit it was a pain so I wasn't doing that again so what I thought instead would uh, I'll um, I'll just put a socket in near where the kettle's going to be and then it'll be perfect so I did that uh, but of course it, it never goes as simple as just putting a socket in because you've got to drill holes and raw plug and even the trunking I did because that, that particular wall's not particularly great all the paint always wants to come off it and stuff so I had to raw plug the trunking as well so it's all fiddly and time and messing and things so we got there in the end um, it worked perfectly so that was good uh, but yeah other than that Saturday I um, yeah I just had a pretty relaxing day to be honest I was wiped um, did have a, a play on the VR um, on some games um, Phantom Forces um, which is, is a bit like a um, obviously a, an army game but it, I was <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting you're supposed to go into this enemy base stealthily but you're in a canoe <laughs> which is a bit surprising so imagine in VR but you, you know you're approaching the base in this canoe so you sat there going meep, meep, in VR uh, and obviously you've got to get your motion right with the paddles or you don't go nowhere um, so yeah it took a little bit of time to get used to how to to paddle virtually um, but yeah, you do that, and then you have to like stealth and do it and hide. And um, I got so far, but then there were some people who weren't getting out of my way. Uh, and I think I should have used the sniper rifle, and I used the handgun instead, and didn't do a very good job, and then got caught and killed. So at that point, I gave up. Um, uh, but there's been a few, um, a few of the army type ones I had to go at. Um, and I went to another one. I um, can't remember what it's called now. I don't suppose it matters. No, I'll look it up probably and put it in the video somewhere. But, um... Yeah, that was alright. But it's getting used to reloading. You see, you have infinite clips, but you've got to, like, reload and then pull this thing before you... Uh, and when you've got like 24 insurgents attacking you <laughs> and, and you, you're trying to run round and hide and then do all that to keep getting at them and they never seem to have that problem um, they got very hard I got a fair way through that one obviously there's a team of you so you, you can do the, the classic sort of thing is hand back and let your, your team do the work uh, and maybe just pop out to grab a few off uh, and then I got this building and I think it just about got down to me because I've been hanging back and hiding um, and there was this like minigun thing 
and I was like, oh yeah, they're gonna come from the other side. If I get this, I got that. And that was it, it was brilliant. There's hordes of them coming round and I was just spraying them this minute gum. Great. But some sneaky one had come from the other side around the back. So it was behind me, I hadn't realised, and then the next thing I knew I was dead because it got me from behind. So there you are, that that's a lesson for you, isn't it? You know, don't concentrate all the fire on one way thinking you're right because someone's going to sneak up behind you if you're not looking um, so Mr Analysis my things talk on your vlog my grandma and granddad as they had the vaccine last Tuesday and will have another one in 12 weeks well that's good news Richard can you remember 321 with Dusty Bin I can uh, one last thing as both and the other viewers would like to give their own national club and tribute to Captain Tom Right, yes, uh, I was still working <laughs> when that was happening, so not much chance of me doing any national clapping or anything else. So that's it, that's me done. I'm going to get into work now, commence the day, see how much of the impossible mountain of work I've got I can get done uh, before going home. So have a good weekend and week next week forecast more snow next week which is just fantastic loads of stuff to do next week and it's not going to get much done if we're snowed in all the time but who knows i mean they say it's going to snow all week it might not who knows okay see ya